Through my C4. Hold up. Things are getting a little spicy now. How I knew that there was a guy behind me is because I saw him on the minimap. All right, you guys, welcome back to another Live Tips Tuesday. You guys seem to really enjoy the first episode. If you guys missed that one, make sure to check it out on the channel. It literally says uh, how to improve in Cold War. So, uh, oh boy, they really, they really didn't pick jungle. Oh man. But anyways, all right. So for a checkmate, we're playing team deathmatch. Saw somebody in the comments request that you want to see some team deathmatch tips. So we're going to revolve everything around team deathmatch. How to play it accordingly. How to stay alive. Obviously at the end of the day, that's everybody's goal. So, uh, I'm mainly going to be focusing on, uh, the flanking positioning, and rotating around the map. All right. So let's see what uh, what should we use here? Um, honestly, like I think I did AK forty seven the last time. Let's go. Let's go with Farah eighty three then. All right. So of course, obviously, when you're playing on a long range map such as Checkmate, first thing you want to do is pick the right weapon. Actually, now that I think of it, maybe I should be using an SMG to show you guys how you can adapt to using an smg on a longer map i don't know let me know in the comments if you guys want me to show you guys that uh maybe we'll play like first half with the uh the far 83 and then second half with the smg all right so main thing main thing i look for when i'm playing team deathmatch is I, I play a little patient you know i play a little patient i try to play stealthy i don't really let uh you know i don't really go to the opponent i let the opponent come to me i pick a spot that I feel like I can be on the outside looking in and I'm watching every line of sight no matter where I'm at where I could possibly get shot from so look how I'm kind of rotating back and forth I know this this play style is a little exaggerated you know in, in my gameplays I don't really play like this but as a beginner as someone who's just trying to get better these are little things that you should practice so since nothing is really happening I'm going to move on I'm still sticking to the outskirts of the map I'm looking at my my minimap, I do see someone here. I'm gonna pre-aim. I hear his footsteps. Clean kill. Hold up. We're gonna back up a little bit. You don't wanna ever stay in the same spot. Back up a little bit, get a different vantage point. Do what you gotta do. But also do take note that they are gonna come back for you. Anytime you kill somebody, it's just human nature. They wanna get back at you. I think pre-aiming uh, oh oh see this is exactly why you don't want to stay there they know you're there i think i seen somebody right here in the middle all right let's wait for him there he is and again we're gonna pre-aim here they're gonna come back they know i know it i know it give me nature like i was saying all right let's get that uav going it's gonna give us a lot switch to the uh Switch to the shotgun there. Through my C4. Hold up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Things are getting a little spicy now. How I knew that there was a guy behind me is because I saw him on the minimap. All right, so we've overstayed our welcome here. I'm getting out of here, guys. Um, because more often than not, they are going to be coming back. Like, 100%. Remember, checking every line of sight here. Oh. Okay, we got our war machine. Let's use it accordingly. Wait, wait, hold up. Oh. Okay. Wow, that was actually a respectable move. I respect that. I've never seen anyone do that before on this map. That's actually really respectable. But yeah, guys. Same thing applies. Same thing applies. Pay attention to the minimap. Always, you know, pre-aim. Also... Going back to the whole flanking thing and sticking to the outskirts of the map, if you continue to like be where the action's at, 
Um, meaning, uh, you know, playing with your teammates and, you know, not separating from them. You're more likely going to die. It's easier to get kills when you shoot the enemy from behind. It's outsmarting them, basically. So that's why, that's why it's important to, like, rotate. Stick to the outskirts. Stay away from your teammates. You know, you'll most likely get those kills. Dude, this Far 83 setup is just... Whoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You guys are going to love it, actually. It's going to be tomorrow's video. So be on the lookout. Rail operator neutralized. Alright, see where they're going to come in now. And it's a little too aggressive for my taste. Okay, we got to switch to the shoddy. Reason why we did that is because we're in the middle of reloading, right? So if we want to be ready for engagement... Switch to your secondary. Don't forget about it. Of course, we're looking at the minimap. Oh my god, why did I... Why did I click that? I guess it's just instinct, man. So I'm kind of playing a little bit more aggressive here. No, 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 no. You don't always have to challenge everything. Obviously, the goal is to stay alive, right? Alright, there's gonna be someone in here. Should be another one in here unless he died. Yes, he did. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness. Alright, nice play. Nice play. Fair play there. Well, let's talk about power positions now. Okay, so the uh, checkmate is a perfect map to display this. So power position is basically any point in the map that's a high... High position, high level area where you have a good vantage point of seeing everybody. And this is where everybody wants to go because when you're in a power position, it's exactly as the definition states, you're in power. It's it's hard for people to uh, to compete. So I'm sure that this guy is still here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, man, see, exactly. They got the power right now in this position. So trying to overtake it is going to be a bit of a challenge, obviously. I think I, I think I saw somebody ping here on the mini map. There it is. Oh, nice one, nice one. He just he just outright beat me in that gunfight. Should be peeking around this corner though. Nice, nice job. I don't think that was the guy though. Pre-aiming, pre-aiming, sticking to the outskirts. You know what's important about sticking to the outskirts of the map? Oh my gosh, dude. All right, someone's up here, someone's up here. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, so what I just did there in that sequence, uh, how I kind of like slid around like that to avoid the guy, you know, that's some. if you're a beginner... You know, that's something that you'll pick up the more that you play the game, you know? Just Call of Duty in general. It doesn't even have to be Cold War specifically, because this kind of stuff is universal. There he is. There he is. Nice plays. Got him. Ooh, look at that. Oh, dude, I hate you. I legit actually do not like you. Like, how? How is this man so accurate, dude? Some people are just gifted. All right, anyways, back to the tips, guys. Again, same thing. Sticking to the outskirts of the map. Not really complicating it. If I get shot, I'm going to try to get out. Get out of the way here. Let's use our spy plane. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, yeah, they are clearly up, up in the plane. I think we could actually go for a flank here. Spy plane flight time 50% on my mark. Mark. Oh man. Oh, you know what it is? I gotta change my perk here. Oh wait, never mind. No, I don't. I thought he could see me on the uh Spy plane, the little uh radar thingy. Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting what it's called. Bro, I just spawned. That's alright. We got at least we got one kill. Shaquille Oatmeal, I love that name. Alright, so we're only up by like four kills here. Let's see if I can 
take control here. Okay. I'm noticing that my teammates are dying on this side, so let's go ahead and investigate. Someone's here. Shot was good. Bro, dude. Like, I actually legit, like, oh my gosh. Alright, let's go ahead and try to take control here. That's what we want to do, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that what you like? Alright, so we got a power position here. And we're just kind of overlooking where they're spawning in from. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's go ahead and rotate. Let's push up a little bit. We kind of want to push them into their spawn. Four seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get one more kill up in here. Let's go. All right. So we finished off with 43 kills, 11 deaths. Um, wow, 43 kills in Team Deathmatch. So hopefully you guys uh, did learn something from this video. And uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and show you guys the class setup. Just because if you guys made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you. And also, leave a comment down below. Knowledge. Okay, knowledge. Put that in the comment section down below so I know you made it this far into the video. Uh, those who do watch the video all the way through, you are appreciated and you are going to gain something from this video. So let's go ahead and check out our class setup. But yeah, guys, uh, hopefully I provided a good example of how you should play Team Deathmatch. At the same time, you have to realize and remember that when I'm explaining stuff, it's extremely difficult to do well at the same time. So hopefully I was on my A game today and I didn't bore you with useless you know words or whatever like that and you guys did learn something from the video at the end of the day that's what i care about so uh for muzzle we got the groove suppressor we got the liberator barrel foregrip uh spetsnaz 50 round and the kgb skeletal stock and uh here is the rest of the class setup guys um we got the um the the, the uh, street sweeper I almost forget i always forget the name of this and we got the uh, duck build choke we got the ranger barrel five milliwatt laser standing 18 round drum and the wire stock and we got the jammer c4 stim shot and here's my perk combination feel free to copy it if you want to but yeah guys my approach with these videos is kind of like a uh, a classes in session type of thing that's why we don't have no you know too much editing or you know the the, the background music raw stuff you guys need to see me, how I adapt, even when I die. That's why there's no cuts, jump cuts, nothing like that. Raw gameplay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and you learned something. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. It shows me I'm doing something right. And make sure to subscribe if you're new around here to make your way back to the channel. And make sure to tune in for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is going to be the Farah 83. Uh, showing you guys how this class setup is just absolutely beast. As you guys saw a little preview today, you guys get the treat of seeing that video early. Uh, but yeah, guys, see you guys in the next one. And... Take care. I just want to give a big thank you to our members for supporting Turbo Nation and this channel. This channel is driven by the support of you guys and I really appreciate it. And if you would like to join the channel as a member, go ahead to my homepage or check the link in description and click that join button to enjoy these loyalty badges as well as these emojis that you can put in the comments and show your allegiance to the Turbo Nation. But anyways guys, I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.